Hello, my name is Dr. Rodriguez. I am a science professor. STEAM is an educational movement that combines science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. On the iSTEAM channel, we will introduce STEAM fields as access point for experiential learning, inquiry, and critical thinking. Today's episode, Investigating the effects of pH on catalase activity. Catalase is an enzyme in many plants and animal cells that speed up the decomposition of toxic hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. Specifically, catalase exists in high concentrations in your liver and blood. Have you ever applied hydrogen peroxide to a bleeding wound and observed bubbles? If you saw bubbles when hydrogen peroxide made contact with your blood, you have experienced the catalytic activity of the enzyme catalase. Label five clean test tube with the numbers 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. This number represents the pH values of the chemical buffers that you will be using to control the pH at which your reaction occur. Use a clean graduate cylinder to measure and pour 30 drops or 1.5 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide into each of the five test tubes. Use a clean graduate cylinder to measure separate 40 drops or 2 milliliter portions of pH 3, pH 5, pH 7, pH 9, and pH 11 buffer solutions and pour the portions respectively into test tubes 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. Remember to wash and drain the graduate cylinder after measuring each buffer. Add two drops of freshly prepared liver homogenate to each test tube. You need to do this step quickly so that the five tubes receive catalase almost at the same time. Check all five tubes simultaneously to mix the content by gently moving the test tube back and forth on the counter several times. Observe the tubes for the next one to two minutes and look for the formation of bubbles in one or more of the test tube. Bubble formation is evidence of oxygen production and indicates that the enzyme catalyzed reaction is occurring. As soon as the column of bubbles in any tube reaches the top of the tube or the tallest column of bubble reaches its maximum height, measure the height of the bubbles in each of the five tubes. According to your data, what is the optimum pH of catalase? Explain your results. I hope this presentation was insightful. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you enjoy learning about STEAM. Please also share this channel with someone you think can benefit from or will enjoy the presentation of the ice team channel. Hope to see you soon.